Hi, Will for Sound on Sound here at the NAMM show with Frederick on the head audio booth. Frederick, how are you? I'm very well, thank you, Will. Excellent. <laughs> so, we know you from the Nearfield Market and uh, yeah. mid Midfield uh, yeah, Monitor Market. True. What have you got that's different here? Uh, well, we've been thinking about uh, making a proper main monitoring system for quite a while, and um, at the same time, we needed that time to think it through because uh, we are obviously not living in a in a time anymore where you have really big recording studios built anew. So we were looking for a smaller footprint uh, version, but then at the same time bring all the talents that a well done main monitoring system has in terms of big and wide sound, in terms of dynamics uh, to a smaller footprint version. So what we came up, um, up with is a, a actually a column based uh, modular system which uh, consists of two main components. Um, the main unit is called the TM80. Uh, it's, um, it's, it doesn't work independently. It's uh, complementing um, a specific subwoofer. And um, you can use it as a column, but at the same time you can also uh, do like experiments with the positioning. For example, you can um, soffit mount the main unit and put the subs on the side. You can combine it with uh, either one or with two subwoofers. So, uh, I feel it fits very well in today's studio environments that are more space effective and more cost effective as, as well. Yeah. Right, can you uh, talk us through each of these different sections then? We've yeah. got, this looks quite familiar. Uh, the, it uh, does, yeah. The ribbon tweet or rather the um, yeah. uh, air motion yeah. transducer. Yeah, exactly. So the core of the main unit is the air motion transformer, transformer. In, its late, in its latest version. It's the exact same tweeter that we're using in our nit nit midfield and near field monitors. And it's surrounded by um, two midfield woofers, uh, two mid-range uh, woofers, and two base woofers. So it's a symmetrical uh, uh, geometry, um, kind of oriented at the um, old Dapolito tradition, uh, which is very good if you want to have a, a stable horizontal dispersion, but if you, uh, when you also want to uh, minimize reflections on the ceiling and on the floor. That being an important factor, of course, if you're in a situation which isn't a purpose-built recording studio. Exactly, is, exactly. Right. It's something you really want to do, especially if you work with a, a large system that uh, is, I mean, this, this extended version is uh, more than two meters high, so you need to take care of these things uh, very well. Um, at the same time, this is a fully closed box design, which is also something you wouldn't find in other main monitors. So it's and an infinite uh, baffle then, is it? It's absolutely. So you have to, um, you have to kind of uh, think that that you get a very on point and very precise bass response, um, and um, you need to apply a lot of amplification power to actually get that really big main monitoring sound if you're working in a closed box design, and uh, that's why we put two woofers. Um, on the front and on the back of each um, sub uh, um, uh, unit, and um, an entire sub unit is powered by 1,200 uh, watts of um, uh, um, uh, power. These are ice power amplifi amplifiers that we're using in other monitors as well, and they can really provide the the, the, the sheer power that you need to to uh, yeah work in a, in a context like that. Yeah. In terms of frequency response, what are we looking at? So the main unit goes as low as 80 hertz. So you see it wouldn't really work independently. Sure. And um, the sub kicks in at 80 and takes you all the way down to 20 hertz. So it's really full range, as full range as it gets. Um, and um, yeah, sorry. And in terms of uh, the SPL then that this can generate? Well, there are actually two versions. So you could either combine the main unit, the TM80, with one of the subs. The mm -hmm. subs are called TMS36, by the way. And this would be 100 of 20, 122 dBs of SPL. Okay. And if, you, um, if you're willing to put another sub on top, then um, I think you're ending up uh, around 128. Yeah. Okay. And uh, how much is this going to cost then? Because this looks like it's aimed at the high-end market. Yeah, absolutely. It's um, absolutely aiming at the high-end market, mastering studios, uh, recording studios. Um, and I don't know, maybe someone with uh, money for a living room might be uh, among potential customers as well. But it's of course, we're aiming, yeah? Yeah, yeah, there are these people, uh, and no, but um, we're aiming at the professional market, of course. And uh, the TM80, the main unit, will be uh, 4,000 euros, the piece, and the subs are a little more expensive, 4,500. And then you can kind of put together your own setup and, and see whatever you need if you need the, the two subs or the one sub. Yeah. So all of the um, 
the amplifiers are built in then, are they? Oh yeah, absolutely. Okay, yeah. right. And there's one three times DSP 300 well. watts in the main unit and uh, two times 600 uh, watts per each subunit. So yeah. this particular system, two of these with the double sub configuration, yeah. how much would this run for? Uh, this would be like 27,000 euros for the pair. Okay. Yeah, and it's when are as these, much as it gets. Yeah. When are these going to be available? Um, we will have them ready in April. That's the idea right now. Yeah. Cool. Well, thanks very much, Frederick. Well, you're very welcome. Thank you.